Alright you guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video and to my first video in quite a number of weeks actually except for the last one that I did which was down the rugby field explaining to you guys what was going on in my head how my headspace was you know mentally I have been struggling with a few things recently and I clued you in on those but the one thing that has been affecting me the most is not being able to see my daughter my daughter lives in Cairns now she's been mo she's uh, moved away two months ago with the mum and I am leaving tomorrow to go and see her so I'm gonna be driving it's gonna be a mammoth task but uh, there has been one mammoth task that uh, I've also had to complete over the last two weeks and that is to declutter the fuck out of my life get rid of anything that can't fit in my car and come with me so I'm gonna be leaving Alice Springs with everything I own in this tiny little Holden Barina with me and that is that was a daunting task that was a daunting thought to even think of you know two or three weeks ago when I decided to embark on selling everything extra that I didn't need in my life anything that I was you know possibly gonna put in storage whilst I'm away I said nah I'm just gonna sell it I'm gonna get rid of it so that's what we've done so this video is just basically to get my head back in the game to make a vlog and to update you guys on exactly what I've sold and what I've got left so today's date this is pretty much all I've got man this is all my possessions and they're sitting on top of a day bed so it's actually probably half of what you can see here so the date guys is uh, you know uh, let's actually you know what I've got to say something right now this is my unit this is my first ever property purchase two bedroom two bathroom unit here in Alice Springs and I've lived in it for 18 months and then I rented it out for a year and then I've been back living in it for about the last four months so all up I've owned it for about three years now and I am renting it back out obviously when I go to Cairns and it's going to be rented to my mum and my sister so I don't need to go through a real estate agent I don't have to worry about paying fees I don't have to worry about the place being trashed you know it's my mum and my sister I've still got that connection to Alice Springs and so I don't really feel that scared about leaving but you know truth is guys is Alice Springs has been my my home you know this is my this is my second home for sure my, my daughter was born here you know I've been here for eight years I'm 28 years old I've been here for eight years guys so I pretty much had well I have I've had my entire 20s here in Alice Springs in a town of 30,000 people I don't know if that's been good for me or bad for me but you know what it's all part of the journey it's part of the journey of life it's part of my life and it's a it's a part I'll never forget especially because I own a property here so I just wanted to put that out there because you know if I didn't make this video today and I left tomorrow I might I may never even step foot back in this unit again so you know I, I wanted to create a video in this unit before I left just for nostalgic purposes and I think we're gonna do that so it's Monday today tomorrow morning I'm gonna leave at 4 o'clock in the morning I am going to pack all of this into my car and that will be my next trick but uh, what I've done this morning the car's got four new tires it's got a service which is happening right now and so I'm about to go pick it up I'll bring it back and then we'll be packing the the car up so before we do that I thought I'd just run through what I have sold because I tell you what guys if you're, if you're on Facebook and you're trying to sell something secondhand and you're not using marketplace you are missing out I'm telling you marketplace is the best fucking tool you can ever have to, to flick things off no fees completely free you know the the way that the messaging system is set up it's so easy you just put your stuff up there everyone can uh, search for it within, within a certain distance of themselves and uh, you know I've been putting stuff up and getting messages within half an hour you know people come around I put something up an hour later it's sold and I've got the cash in my hand you know you just you cannot fucking you cannot lose well you can lose and I did lose some but I got some and you know what what I'm why the reason I'm talking about marketplace is because you know one of the main things that put me off trying to sell things is thinking fuck it's gonna be too much of a mission you know selling secondhand stuff is never easy but if you take nice photos if you write a, a very simple and easy to read description but you know no no spelling mistakes make it look professional blah 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 
then you will get people wanting to buy your stuff and they will come to your house directly they'll give you cash and they'll take it away it's fucking brilliant it really is so with that being said I'm gonna run through all the stuff that I've sold because it's been it's made it you know a hell of a lot easier although it has been a mission you know thinking three weeks ago with this whole house full of furniture thinking I've got to sell it all with no buyers it was like that was stressing me the fuck out and slowly over time you know I had about 15 or 20 items to list I did five at first over the first week I got rid of all of those I put 10 up after that slowly slowly you got rid of it one by one the big items go the table goes the couch goes the bed goes and then it's like wow I actually got through that I can't believe it anyways I sold over the last three weeks I have sold a chest freezer I've sold a glass dining table and chairs. I've sold a, a timber sushi table and four chairs, which is like a, it's like a dining table, but a small one. Uh, I've sold my egg chair, that green chair with the basket hanging on the, the chain that's gone. I sold my furniture, uh, my, <laughs> my furniture bedroom set, my, <laughs> my bedroom furniture set, uh, which was a, a tall boy and two, two dress, two uh, bedside tables. I sold my leather, Genuine leather, by the way, it cost me fucking four grand. I sold my leather couch and two recliners. I sold my water cooler. I sold my bed and mattress. I sold my TV. I sold my office chair. I sold my fridge. I sold my washing machine. And I'm about to sell this. My road bike that I had great intentions of using every single morning and I used it twice now that's not to say that I don't believe genuinely wholeheartedly that if I took the bike with me I would use it but because we're in this theme of really really decluttering because I need to fit everything I own literally everything I own except for my two properties in my car the bike's gotta go so hopefully we've got a buyer tonight coming around and um, that's it man so this is this is all my shit this is everything guys and it makes me feel it makes me feel great I'm not even gonna lie and you know what I can I can literally tell you exactly what's in everything so we have what do we got here we've got what's that one that is sports gear the entire bag is sports gear we've got footballs we've got rugby boots we've got cones everything like that this is my paperwork and books so you know bills ID passport all that shit books to read this is bathroom stuff so we've got toothbrushes toothpaste moisturizer all that kind of shit this is electronics wires cables chargers all that shit this one oh I see a Green Bay Packers helmet this one is my football gear. So we've got my helmet and we've got all of my NFL jerseys. This one is major key physique stuff. That is camera gear. So is that. This one down here has all of my major key physique sample products, which I'll be taking with me to have a photo shoot. We've got the drone, we've got my drill, this blue suitcase has every single piece of football memorabilia you guys have sent me, which I'm taking with me, of course. Don't know what I'm going to do with it or where I'm going to display it, but I will take it. We've got the drone. We've got four cardboard boxes here, which may look interesting. And they've been sitting in my house for about six months because the pre-orders for Major Key Physiques obviously haven't gone live yet and I thought that they would be going live literally months ago. So um, what we've got here is 96 Major Key Physiques electronic USB shaker cups. No, that didn't come out right. What's going to happen is once the pre-orders go live, in fact we might not actually do pre-orders because it can be a bit dodgy depending on you know if, if stock turns up or if there's problems with stock blah blah blah. So I think we might just go the first 96 orders effectively get a free uh, electronic shaker cup and they are quite cool so that's that what do we got down here that is some more electronic stuff this is my pair of shoes that I've had for three years and I've never worn 
which are too good to sell. Because I tell you what, when I do finally wear them, or when I've got some major key physiques like trackies or socks or something to model them in, that's when we'll be wearing them. And that's basically it guys, we've got some whiteboards, I've got my scales, I've got my blender, and uh, oh, PlayStation. I did actually, I tried a Twitch, a, a Twitch stream last night. And uh, I didn't have a camera or a microphone, I just did it through my PlayStation, but it was fun. I really enjoy Twitch. And I think that in the future, when I do have a, a bit of a base sorted in uh, cans, I'm gonna set up a, uh, a half decent Twitch stream. So any of you guys who enjoy watching me play games, <laughs> we can continue to do that. And uh, it's just another, it's just another platform to create content and connect with you guys and that's what this is all about so you know what I think we're gonna turn the camera off now this was this was just a um, well it's just an update and it's getting me talking you know whether this video actually makes it to YouTube or not it doesn't matter it's about me getting my head back in the game especially with YouTube you know you feel like when you haven't picked up the camera for a month and you literally haven't haven't even thought about it um, and when you do think about it, it just sends you in a spiral of, of anxiety. Uh, you know, just even just to get through this 10 or 12 minute video with you guys, continuing to talk and, and sort of having that passion behind my, my voice is good practice for me. And, um, you know, this video is going to be titled, I just sold everything I own, almost, in brackets. And because that's that's pretty much what it is. That's the message I wanted to give you. And to be honest, you know, I know deep down that when I do get to Cairns and I've got my unit set up wherever I'm going to be living, I am going to go minimalist as fuck. I've got no furniture anymore, so anything I do buy is going to be exactly what I need. I'm thinking a couch, a bed, a washing machine, a fridge. That's it. Why do I need anything else? TV, computer, of course, you know. We've got three things, three priorities. Obviously, number one is my daughter, Tate. Number two is continuing to train. So I've got my sports gear there. We've got, you know, not just gym training, but football training, rugby training, any kind of training. It's important. It's important to my, to my uh, mental headspace. You know, I feel like training, um, exercise in general is important mentally. So I'll be doing that. Tate, obviously sport and training and uh, making content you know that's that's what it's what I enjoy doing it is what I enjoy doing so for me to have been in this funk and to be sort of out of the loop for the last month it doesn't make me feel good you know having a break is not necessarily a good thing for me because I enjoy making content and so you know even just whipping out the camera today has, has made me feel better so uh, you know I want to thank you for being here guys and uh, my next mission of course is to pack up the car when it's finished at the service and I'll be doing that and then tomorrow morning at four o'clock I will be coming back opening up the camera again and vlogging my journey from Alice Springs to Cairns which is about 2300 kilometers which is about fuck I don't even know it's like might be 1400 miles so we've got a we've got a fair distance in front of us 1400 miles over a two or three day period and then I'll be able to finally see my daughter and uh, yeah. I can't wait. So thanks for being here guys. This is the final video that you're going to see in my unit. It's pretty nostalgic guys. We're on the verge of a brand new adventure. A brand new adventure I tell you. I'm excited. It's been a long time fucking coming, but I'm really excited. And I want you guys to come along for the ride. So I'll see you soon. Peace.